you know, my mom always told me stealing stuff is never a good thing. Yet today I'm gonna just go ahead and say, steal how much ever you want. Probably good for you. Now why am I saying that? That's because today we're talking about the closure of Funimation. Now if you would think that I'm just talking about Funimation shutting down, well this would be a very short video. But it's not just that, it's a lot more than that. Funimation will go ahead and shut down on April 2nd of 2024. Everything will be going over to Crunchyroll, which you will think, oh, that's great. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, be grandfathered into Crunchyroll. Well, that's not truly the case. On the news announcements of this, Crunchyroll basically said, hey, you know the rival that we were going ahead and, you know, competing against, and now we're going to go ahead and take their uh, entire user base or most of it? Well, guess what? We're also jacking up our prices because guess what? No one else is going to compete with us. And that pissed me off at first, right? With, of course, you know, the price is jumping from $5.99 to $9.99, $54.95 to $99.99. Sorry, I'm a little angry, hence why I'm not able to read, read it properly. When it goes, uh, it got jacked up to that. I'm like, okay, fine. You know, it's a little scummy. It's a little scummy, but I'm okay. You know, they're just jacking up the prices. Here's where it gets really fucked up, though. According to Funimation's support page, Crunchyroll does not currently support Funimation digital copies, which means that the access to previously available digital copies will not be supported. In other words, all those digital copies are going away, to which is a massive bummer for anyone who purchased and later sold illegible DVDs or Blu-rays hoping to store the digital copies on Funimation forever. This is why subscription services are not anything anyone's too wild about. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go to a different category here, gaming, for example. Do you know why a lot of gamers don't like the live a service feature where you're always playing a game online or downloading digital copies? Some people would just like, "Okay, that's great, whatever." But there's a lot of people that don't. And this is the reason why we say we don't like that. Because if a service, if a company, if someone shuts down, and let's say they made your favorite game, and then all of a sudden because they shut down, you can't play your favorite game, you can't play your favorite IP, it all goes bye-bye, then what's the point? What's the point of spending the damn money? It's gone. It's like a fart in the wind. It's gone. And then you're just left wondering... Why did I sell my DVDs? Why did I sell my Blu-rays? Why did I even give up the physical copies? This is why people want physical copies now. You've just made a reason for piracy to exist here. Not only have you shut down the service, not only have you jacked up the prices, but you've also made people lose the libraries that they would have had if they just had the physical copy. Meaning, now, with all that money wasted, I'm sorry, like a lot of people are gonna go look at this and just be like, why don't I just go ahead and pirate it? And you know the funny part to that? Crunchyroll used to be a company that pirated anime, put it on their website, and then later became legit. Now here we are, talking about the reason for piracy to exist. At least you can own the copy. At least if the piracy site goes down, you can go ahead and have it on your system. At least you can go ahead and watch all your favorite animes. If anyone just says, oh, piracy bad, they'll point to this and say, well, why not? Piracy is a customer service problem. Let me repeat that one more time. Piracy is a customer service problem, right? The reason I'm saying this is because when the, cons the consumer base, the customer, realizes, hey, whatever service you have, does not satisfy my needs, does not allow me to go ahead and attain what I am looking for, right? They go ahead and look at other services that will give something that is of value for free. And this poisons the anime community even more, right? Why do I say that? Because it's already bad enough. If you don't know what's going on in the anime industry, let me just jog you down real quick. If you go down to the entire rabbit hole, that is the entire production of one anime, right? You'll see that there are sleepless nights. There are artists busting their asses. There are people trying to make sure that the anime looks good and gets out. And already it is hemorrhaging money. These people are not allowed to, or not able to, you know, have a decent 
work-life balance. They get paid shit. They don't, they don't get to reap their benefits half the time. And then when you do this, mind you, it's, it was already dying because of that. Now when you do this, you've basically put another nail in the coffin. I don't even know if this is the final nail in the coffin yet. But if this track record keeps going, anime will die at some point. And some of you might be wondering, why are you so uppity, be, uh, uppity about anime? Why do you care? You know, grow up. It's not about me. It's about every single person who loves anime, who watches it, whatever anime you like, whether it be, I don't know, or on High School Host Club, or My Hero Academia, or One Piece, whatever it may be, it affects all of them. And all of those people have a right to enjoy something that they actually love. They have a right to go ahead and support what they actually love. Like how people love art, how people love games. This is how they want to go ahead and live their life and this is what they want to consume. And you're going ahead and destroying that for them. You're destroying so many things. This is just, this is just super upsetting because as someone who's been sitting on the sidelines just watching this stuff like unfold over the years, yeah, sure, now I have a YouTube channel, I can talk about it. It's just disappointing to see how helpless you are to, if you wanted to go ahead and help it, you can't anymore. That, that right there, your digital copies that you thought you were going to keep, gone. When it shoots, when it destroys a person's trust, a person's you know, viewpoint as to why should I go ahead and consume this media in a legit way, you've now opened the door to make the industry hemorrhage money. And then there's going to be job losses, there's going to be people being laid off, there's going to be longer durations of anime not being even viewed. So big whoop to us, right? We're ultimately the losers in this entire situation, by the way. Crunchyroll doesn't lose, right? No one else loses, only us, the consumer. And... Of course, the artist that doesn't get paid. So anyone who is just going ahead and getting on Asmongold's ass about, what about the artist? What about the artist? Well, there you go. We understand that you may have concerns about your digital copy to, uh, copies from Funimation. Please note that Crunchyroll does not currently support Funimation's digital copies, which means that access to previously available digital copies will not be supported. You can go ahead and read that and cry about it all you want if you're like a super anime fan and you use the service and all that stuff. Sorry, man. Look, if you're a regular user and you're just thinking, is this now the best time to just start pirating? I'm not going to say no to you. The argument from piracy or the argument for piracy is right there for you. It's right there for you to go ahead and look at and just be like, you know what? Might as well. And no one's going to blame me. If anyone tries to, you can just point back to this. It is what it is. But... With that being said, if you like uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it, and practically, I could give less of a shit about Crunchyroll's really bad take on a already shitty situation. Anyways, that's it for me. See ya. Bye.